In this video, we will solve an SQL question to understand few more concepts in SQL. Also, we will try to see how to solve a complex question in a sequential manner. The question is, write an SQL query to report the students. So in the result, we want student ID and student name who took at least one exam and didn't score neither the high score nor the low score. Also, there are few conditions that we have to follow while returning the result. Don't return the student who has never taken an exam. And second condition is return the result table ordered by student ID. For that, we have created two tables which are student ID and exam. And once I query the two tables, I will explain the question once again so it will be clear. So we'll query the table first. Select star from. Let us execute the query. So these are the two tables which we are having student table and exam table. So in the student table, we have student ID and student name. In exam table, we have exam ID, student ID and the corresponding score scored by each student corresponding to the exam. So the question is write an SQL query to report the student who took at least one exam and did not score neither the high score nor the low score. So we have to find for each of the exams if we inspect the data set for exam, we can see that we have four different exams here. That is from uh, 10 is an exam ID, then 20 is another exam ID, then 30 is another exam ID and 40 is another exam ID. For each of the exams, we have to find the student who has scored neither the high score nor the low score. That is the student who scored neither the high score nor the low score. So also we are, we are given the student ID table and student name. Also let us go through the conditions once again. That is don't return the student who has never taken any exam. So the student table has five students who have taken the exam. But in the exam table we can see that if we inspect the data, the student ID five is not present in the exam table. So we can understand that student five have never taken any exam. So he should not be there in the data that is one condition and the other condition is return the result table ordered by student id that we can follow once we query the table so let us start writing the query so initially let us join the two tables we can approach the question in different manner either we can join the tables at the final stage or either we can join the table initially because the question is only asking us to find the student who is not scoring either the maximum mark or the minimum mark so either we can find that from the student id and then join with the student table to get the student name or we can initially itself we can join the table and then along with the student name and student id we can find the answer then it will be little bit easy for us to understand uh, because we can easily refer to the student name rather than going to id we can always refer to student name and it will be easy for us to distinguish the result so initially I am going to join the two tables here. So select star. The first table is exam table and also I am giving an alias name E. And joining the table with the student table. Also I will be using the left join here. And joining the student table and the alias name is S. And on. The condition is we have student id common in both the tables so i will be using the student id to join the two tables so e dot student id equal s dot student id so now we have joined the two tables also now in this query i have also satisfied one of the condition that is i am not going to return the student who have never taken any exam because now it's left join joined on the student id so what we can see is that after running the result uh, sorry after running the query let me run the uh, run all the three tables and let us inspect once again so these are the result in the student table we can see that we have an id called 5 corresponding to the student name will he haven't taken any exam if we inspect the exam table we can see that he have never taken any exam so he should be avoided from the final table. So what we did is that by doing a left join, we have, we have avoided that student ID 5 from the result. 
so one condition is satisfied here now also in the result we have two student id columns present so i don't want two student id column so i will modify the query in such a way that i will get only single student id so exam dot star which will give all the columns from the exam table then the second part is s dot student name so i only want student name from the second student table now let me run the query i will get the corresponding table now we have got the table now let me put this inside a common table expression cte and the next thing what we have to find is we have to find what is the minimum and maximum mark scored for each exam so the partition will be based on exam so let me put this query inside a cte and then let us continue this is with t1 as and also i am putting this inside a bracket and now i can refer to this t1 and i will get the entire table now we are going to find the minimum and maximum mark corresponding to each exam for that select star i need all the all the columns followed by maximum of score also i will have to use a window i will have to use this max as a window function here because i will have to create a partition based on exam id so here i will be using the over clause and partition by exam underscore id as max mark i am naming the naming the column as max mark now similarly we will have to find a corresponding column for minimum score and the equation remains the same sorry the query remains the same but the only thing is the keyword changes max will change to min and also the column name will be min underscore marks and this is referring to the table one which i put inside the ct that is common table expression now let us run the query and see what is the result now we have got two more columns in addition to the columns we had earlier now we have maximum mark and minimum mark now what we want to find is we want to find the student who neither scored maximum or minimum mark so so we will have to provide one condition then we can easily fetch the student name who scored neither the maximum nor the minimum mark for that i will put this query also inside a cte because then it's very easy for us to understand t to us i'm putting this inside a cte then select start from t2 and the condition that we are going to give are sorry the condition that we are going to give is where score not equal to max underscore marks and score not equal to min underscore marks so what what the condition is like see if we see the score column and we have corresponding max mark column and minimum mark column corresponding to each exam we are comparing the score to the maximum and minimum score and we are taking the record for which the rec uh, the score is not equal not equal to either the maximum or the minimum mark that is what we are doing here if i execute the query we will get three records so from here we can see that see the maximum mark corresponding to exam id 10 is 90 and maximum minimum mark corresponding to the exam id 10 is 70 and the corresponding record the student uh, we fetched from the table is having a score 80 which is neither 90 nor 70 that is the student jd is not scoring either the minimum or the maximum mark similarly stella is also scoring neither the maximum or minimum mark for exam id 30 and for exam id 40 the same student jd is scoring 70 which is not equal to 80 or 60 but in the question it is given that we only wanted to fetch the student id and student name also we want to return the result table ordered by student id so instead of this star we are going to modify this query we want only student underscore id underscore name 
and also if we run the query we will get the duplicate record for student id and student name that is the jade will repeat twice let me run the query and show you then let us modify the query get to get the single result for student so now we have student id and student name also from the result we can see that two jade is repeating two times so instead of this select student id comma student name we will put a distinct also before that so now if we run the query we will get the distinct result also it is given that we have to order the result based on student id so after the where clause we will put an order by clause order by student underscore id in ascending order now let us run the query and we can see our result now we can see that student id 2 corresponding to the student name jade that is jade and student id 3 corresponding to the student name stella these are the two students who are scoring marks which are neither the high score nor the low score so this is how we solve the question in order to practice i am providing the create and insert statement in the description below also if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you